Hey, this is uh, Dan. We're working on the van again today. Uh, we did a few things that I want to show you. We got the flatline Vanco steps on, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, they went on just as easily as they came off. So that's a good thing. It's nice. Uh, this this van sits uh, quite a bit higher uh, than the other van did, so it's nice to be able to have that step. So you might be wondering, why is the wheel off? Well, the wheel is off because we're gonna go ahead and make a little suspension modification. So what is right here is Van Compass's um, Adelief system. So this is part of their uh, uh, staged kits, but I'm just doing the rear springs right now. So what they're gonna do is help with the capacity of the van but they're also going to help with stability of the van and it's a pretty simple swap so let me show you real quick so the process is pretty simple so we have u-bolts we have a u-bolt carrier there is a spring bolt right there and basically what we're going to do is we're going to drop the suspension down uh, first we have to take off uh, the sway bar end link, that's an 18 millimeter bolt. Uh, the lug nuts for the Mercedes Sprinter are 19 millimeter bolts. But basically we're going to release this uh, sway bar on the driver's side or the passenger side. We're going to um, take the U-bolts off and then we're going to drop the spring down. And then that spring pack that I showed you fits underneath between the block and this main spring on the bottom. So not, not very hard. Um, if, if you're comfortable with doing this kind of stuff, it's really easy, it shouldn't take but so long. So we'll kind of film you and show you how you we're gonna do it. And uh, the only other thing we gotta take loose is the shock mount, which is right there. And uh, that's just gonna let the suspension droop. So uh, let's get everything prepared and uh, we'll kind of show you how we make that change. All right, so we've taken the shock off. So this is a 21 millimeter bolt. And the bolt down here is 18. And the bolts for the U-bolts are 19 millimeters. So we're gonna, while the, the axle is still under some tension, we're gonna go ahead and take the U-bolts loose. All right, so that wasn't bad. So we already slipped out the brake line from this bracket because we're gonna need to remove the block. And so this is the keeper for the top. And then this is the spring bolt that I was telling you about. That holds the leafs together. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna lower the axle down. I have a jack stand in the back for the vehicle to sit on and we're gonna lower that down so we can remove the, um, the block itself. All right, so when you lower things, you just want to make sure that there's no tension. There's a bunch of stuff that runs, and you just want to make sure there's no tension on anything. And we're going to take some clamps and actually clamp this spring uh, together because uh, we don't want it to move once we have the pin in place. Okay, so you can see the block is loose. So it has an indexing pin. Um, so now, just remove that block and we're going to clamp the leaves together so that they don't separate and then we're going to remove this bolt and then we'll just simply install uh, the new helper spring pack. All right, so we got that bolt out. It helps to have a pair of vice grips to kind of get to the bottom of this because it doesn't have a spot for a wrench. But a couple things we got to do, we got to undo these bolts because these will go around the factory springs and then we got to take this center pin out uh, so that we can put uh, the new pin, which is long enough to go through everything, uh, in the new pack. So I'm going to take those uh, bolts and the overload rollers off real fast, and then we'll go ahead and get this thing fitted. 
All right, so these are 15 millimeter bolts. And they, they come right out. This sleeve is just a roller sleeve to protect the bolt. So I also took out the center pin here. And so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take the new long one. We're gonna insert it through here to get those. And then we're gonna lift that pack into place and um, get everything aligned so that it matches up right. And hopefully I put my clamps in the right spot so that they're not in the way. All right, so I had to drop the axle down just a little bit more because that bolt was so long, I couldn't get it under there. But now we're a few things kind of lined up together. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move the clamps to be able to clamp the entire pack together because you don't wanna use this bolt as a way to tighten everything down. All right, so we got um, the two clamps in place and we have them tightened down and you can see in this spring pack is nice. So now we need to put these bolts back in place here and here and get them uh, tightened down. Uh, and they are gonna be uh, kind of, as the axle droops, they're gonna keep that spring pack from separating too much. And they're just, the bolts and the sleeve slide back in. And that, those are attached to the bottom of the spring pack so that when we let these clamps loose, the pack isn't gonna separate. Plus we tighten down this all the way. So it is down as tight as it needs to be. Again, that we didn't use that to tighten the pack together. That's what we had the clamps there for. So we're gonna take the clamps off. We gotta get the block back in and then we can put everything back together. So we got the block back in. Sometimes you have to shift the axle around a little bit because it'll move um, as you're kind of doing this to get that bottom pin lined up. Uh, but once it gets lined up, it drops right in. And so now we're gonna take the U-bolts that were provided and put them back on. So it comes with its own um, U-bolts and uh, nuts. And so they're conical. There's a special conical uh, nut that fits in the bottom of the uh, um, axle. So uh, Van Compass provides all that for us, so we're gonna put it in. So we place this right back on top. And we got uh, new bolts, new nuts. All right, so the new nuts are also 19 millimeter. Uh, so we're just gonna tighten them down with the impact and we'll torque them once the weight of the vehicle is back on. All right, Sonny, you want to do this kind of evenly because you don't want to pull, pull one side of the U-bolt down. So you just want to kind of tighten them a little bit at a time until you're comfortable with it being tight. And then uh, we'll torque them down again once the way the vehicle is on there. All right, and that's basically it. We just have to reinstall the shock and reconnect the sway bar link and we're done. So see the nice pack? It sits underneath this main spring. We have uh, keepers, new U-bolts. Um, again, this is part of all of Van Compass's uh, lift kits um, if you're not replacing the main spring pack. Now we did the Agile Off-Road Rip Kit on the other van and I really, really liked it. Uh, but I, I wanted to wait until this van was loaded up to determine kind of how the suspension was gonna get set. And so I got these Adelifs from Van Compass. They're about 600 bucks. Um, just in the short term to make sure we had some stability, but until the van got loaded and I could really tell what it was gonna do, that would determine 
uh, which direction we went. Uh, also with the Agile Off-Road Rip Kit, you have to weigh the van uh, to kind of get the right spring rate. And until we get the van loaded and ready, I don't want to do that. So this is just an intermediary measure. We may keep it, but you know, in the short term, it gives us the capacity uh, that we need as we start to put weight back here. So we're going to do the other side and then I'll show you what the van looks like uh, once we're done with it. All right, so we are done. Second half, springs, U-bolts, and then this is the Agile Off-Road uh, Fox 2.0 with their shock brace. Um, I put this on the other van, so I'm not gonna, I didn't do the install on that. I already made a video for that. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna see how that goes on. It's really simple. Basically it's two bolts, this one and that one, and they go through the frame and factory spots with sleeves. And, uh, and then you just, and the shock just goes right where it was. Um, what that does is it puts a lot of pressure, takes a lot of pressure off of the one shock bolt mounting space uh, that sometimes in off-road conditions can bend and you can break that shock bolt. So what it does is it stiffens this whole frame section and then gives two points of contact for that shock bolt instead of just the one bolt going through the frame section. So great on the other van, so I put it on this one. So that was pretty easy. The Van Compass uh, Adelief kit, it's pretty simple. It took me a couple hours in the driveway with tools. You do kind of have to know what you're doing with uh, understanding uh, the jacks and all the other things. And you have to have a lot of tools to do it, but it's really not that hard if you have the tools. It's just a little bit of time and it's not that difficult. So we'll see how this goes. Once we start loading the van, we'll see how the suspension uh, flexes and travels. And uh, you know that'll determine whether or not we move on to the more expensive option of going uh, with the rip kit or something else. You know the big difference for me is that rip kit's three grand. You know, and these springs um, are only, like I said, about six. I think it's six fifty. Um, you know, so that's a good solution to stiffen up the rear end, to s tighten up the sway of the van. Um, and be able to have it take some weight. And then we'll see how everything else goes from here um, to see what kind of suspension changes we wanna make. But I wanna get the van, like I said, I wanna get the van loaded first uh, and then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something from the video. If you're still here watching this, give yourself a great big thumbs up. Give me one too. Uh, think about subscribing. We got a lot more to do to the van. And uh, this is Dan from Rambling Ambition and we'll see you on the next one.